So now we're back in the studio. We're here with Autumn. Autumn is uh, si Autumn Seipel is a uh, sophomore in the digital media technology program. Amazingly talented young lady who has motivation and is a fine example of what it takes to make things happen for yourself. She started out with After Effects basic training. What Autumn about two weeks ago a went week or two, yeah. yeah went through the ten basic yeah. steps of learning the found foundation of After Effects CS6 people. This is broadcast level special effects stuff that we're doing. They use this for television and to make movies. When you see what we're doing in DMT later this year, it's going to blow you away. And Autumn is a part of that. The other day, I turned her on to After Effects Elements, which is a plugin for After Effects. And it's a plugin effect that gives you all sorts of 3D capabilities that After Effects as a standalone program does not. So, Autumn, show us real quick what you did. We started you on this yesterday. You were a little frustrated with the tutorials. Uh, you said to me, I can't keep up with them. I said, you know what? Don't bother trying to keep up with them. You got the basics. Explore on your own. And in about an hour, this is what she came up with today. Amazing. Show us, kiddo. Ah. Ah. Fully animated, the particles are expanding and growing in count. They contrast too. And they contrast, and the elemental or the environmental lighting effects. Look at that. Unbelievable. And now, what we're thinking here is each of these objects, these are right now a series of polygons and, and uh, uh, cubes, and it looks like cylinders. What we're thinking here, the concept is now that she's got the animation down and the lighting and everything, we can assign 3D models to those shapes, such as the tools of digital media. Um, animations, comp or, uh, mixers, computers, uh, cameras, you, know, you name it, within the realm of digital media technology. CDs, discs, all the stuff that we do here, assign it to these shapes, and they're going to morph and move together to create a spinning logo. And Autumn, the next step to this is to come up with the text, right? What are you, yeah. kinda, what are you thinking in your head? Where do you want to go from um, here? I want some sort of text that looks like it's typed on a computer. Mm -hmm. Color, maybe green or something. I don't know what color next, but I could use uh, elements to make it 3D, probably. That's incredible. So anybody watching this thing, if you're interested in coming to digital media technology, this is the level that uh, you're going to be working at. And I look at Autumn and I say, you know what? Geez, as an adult here, somebody within our community, this kid's how old are you? 15. 15 years old. Imagine what she's going to be able to do in two years from now, three years from now. So you're looking for somebody high end to work for your company to make you look the best that you can possibly be. Get in touch with us. We have a virtual co-op uh, position here where young people like Autumn can work for you from our media lab and, and, and get real world experience helping your business grow. And they don't even need to leave school to do it because we have a virtual uh, a virtual uh, classroom system and a project management system that allows you to interface with the kids long distance. So amazing things happening here in DMT. Autumn, great job. We're looking forward to seeing this project grow. Thank you.